Yeah. Just come up as you wish during the movie and try to duck. Uh, but help yourselves to the show. We will not be watching the money like a hawk, so honor system. Or move that while I'm talking if you want to read the popcorn. Um, so, uh, uh, as I said, though, the main point of this is not the popcorn and the soda. It is our good friend Sophie Robinson. Yeah. Uh, Sophie for probably like four years maybe now. Um, I think you all are probably here because you, you have some sense of who she is already, but she is a, an inspiring leader, incredibly hard worker. She was on the staff at a future project for two years uh, and has you know gone on to do some very exciting things that she's about to tell you about uh, with this movie. Um, she's the executive producer and the director of outreach for the Age of Consequences. And we have a very special treat tonight. Unlike other people who have seen this movie later on, they don't get the Sophie Robinson introduction. We're going to get a five minute intro from Sophie, and then we're going to have, what, 15, 30 minute Q&A afterwards, where you can ask questions directly of the woman herself. Uh, so again, I think you all know her and love her, but Sophie Robinson. I know all of you, it's amazing, like you're all my friends and it's such a pleasure and a privilege to come and be able to show something I've been working on for the past year to so many of my good friends, so thank you so much for coming and thank you also so much for coming to the fundraiser because we met our goal! Woo! Yeah. month has been pretty crazy with the Kickstarter and thank you all so much for pitching in and making it you know a reality that's so awesome and will really help our film get the last 5% of the way there. Um, so to give you a little bit of context, uh, this film has been in the works for a little over a year. We started um, I think in November 2014 and we were trying to think of um, you know a kind of new angle we could take on climate change like what hasn't been done what can we do that will really um, inspire a new group of people to care about climate change? For those of us in the activist world, you know, we talk about the spectrum of allies and getting... <laughs> really <crying>. Come on, <laughs> man. <laughs> uh, former boss, you know. <laughs> um, so, so we thought of this, uh, the, the concept of war, and that climate change will really create more war in the future, and that was really scary to me as a young person, hoping to have kids someday. So we kind of went down that path, and um, lo and behold, the Pentagon, Department of Defense, these are all really highly regarded institutions of war, and they talk about climate change. In fact, they take it very seriously. So we kind of started to go down that path a little more, and dig a little deeper, okay, what is our military saying about climate change? What are they thinking about? Um, so that's kind of the angle we took for this film, The Age of Consequences. The name is actually from a report from 2007 um, that was from the CNA, the Center for Naval Analysis, called The Age of Consequences, and they were looking at climate change. Um, so yeah, we just kind of dove in and started interviewing some military folks, and um, we just kind of, I don't know, kind of went from there. So right now, we're about 95% of the way done. The film you're about to watch is actually what's called a rough cut, which means it's not totally done. Mm -hmm. We're still doing a little bit of editing. There's still color correcting to be done, sound mixing. Um, our composer, uh, who you will be hearing, the, all the music is from our composer, but he'll be doing um, more composing to picture. So that's still to come. And. Um, what did I leave out? I don't know. Everything else that needs to happen. <laughs> um, so it's about 95% of the way done. And um, where else? We just submitted, we submitted to Tribeca. So we're waiting to hear back from them, which will be any day, any week. We're not really sure. They have watched Explain that. Okay. Tribeca is a, one of the top tier film festivals in the country world. So we're hoping to premiere our film there. This is not a premiere. This is like a sneak peek fundraiser mm -hmm. right. that doesn't count as a premiere because if Tribeca knew that we were premiering, they wouldn't take the film. <laughs> so it's not a premiere, but it's a sneak peek for the fundraiser and it's a rough cut, so it's not finished. 
Um, so that's what you sent them. You send them. So we see. Yeah, this is the, this is what we sent to Rebecca exactly. Um, and we'll hear back soon. Hopefully, we'll get in, which will be in April. Is the uh, when Rebecca happens in New York City, which would be convenient for me because I now live in Brooklyn, as most of you know. Um, what am I missing? So then from there, after Tribeca, we would be, our sales agents will, um, depending on how we do, talk to Netflix or HBO or the distribution mm -hmm. part of, of filmmaking. And from there, we'll figure out where it will go after that. So we don't know any of that yet. Depends on um, if we get into Tribeca or Hot Docs or Toronto, depending on the festival and how we do at the festival. And then from there, we'll figure out distribution. So we don't really know. The, the path, but um, it's, it's coming, it's happening, which is really exciting. Um, <laughs> PJ, PJ gave me some fist pumps. Also, some of my friends made some soft body shirts, which is the cutest thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> and Amelia, one of my soaps buddies, the yellow one, she helped with the film um, with the uh, grant proposal. She helped me write them last year. I'm eternally grateful for your help, Amelia. You're so awesome. Um, and everybody else. Yeah. All right, so are there any preliminary questions just about what I just said before we start, or should I just shut up and let you guys watch the film? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll do that. Um, so we'll do questions after, and you guys can take notes. Um. The drone. Um, a lot of the footage we got the drone, but mm -hmm. other Where footage. Where was that shot? Um, I thought it was in Arizona. I remember it's actually Southern California. Really? Yeah. Wait, which shot was this? The one where you're in the desert and then you just come upon the square house that's like a yard and a pool. It's pretty crazy. Um, 